the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's love. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 200, Nahum 1 to 3. Nahum and Jonah in Assyria. Justice for all nations. God, who had given an opportunity to Assyria to be saved through Jonah, declared judgment against them that did not repent from his evil ways. First point. Both Jonah and Nahum delivered God's messages to Assyria. God had delivered Nineveh through the hands of Jonah 150 years ago. But this time, God proclaimed the destruction of the Assyrian Empire through the prophet Nahum. To compare the book of Jonah and the book of Nahum, in the book of Jonah, God granted mercy, but in the book of Nahum, God declared judgment. In the book of Jonah, the people repented, but in the book of Nahum, the people opposed. Through Nahum, God revealed his justice through judgment, as well as his mercy. God is slow to anger, is forever patient, and waits for humans to repent. However, God will certainly judge those who do not repent until the end, because God is the God of justice. Second point, the prophet Nahum proclaimed that Nineveh would be destroyed by water. Prophet Nahum declared that Nineveh would be judged by water, and that God would completely destroy the city. After its destruction, God would never bring destruction on them again. When Assyria fell, it meant that South Judah no longer had to pay them tribute. Third point, Nahum claimed that Nineveh would become desolate. When Nineveh fell, it meant that South Judah could be liberated from Assyria. The capital city of Assyria, Nineveh, was the first to fall due to a fatal attack in 612 BC by Mede and Babylon. Assyria changed their capital to Haran, but Haran also fell in 609 BC. The ultimate fall of Assyria was in 605 BC at the Battle of Carchemish. After 520 years, Assyria came to a final cross. Fourth point, Nahum claimed that Nineveh was to fall as it was a city of blood. The reason God proclaimed the destruction of Nineveh was because it was full of violence and lies. It also had a terrible influence on its surrounding countries. God called Nineveh a city of blood as well as a blood castle, not only referring to their violence, but also to explain what will happen to them soon. Assyria, who had no idea that they would come to an end, was destroyed by God. By using the metaphor of a fig tree and a grasshopper, God confirmed his judgment on Assyria. Fifth point, the Assyrian kings boasted of their brutality. The fall of the Assyrian Empire was great news for their surrounding countries. This was because they had practiced such violence and authority whilst expanding their empire. Nineveh, that was known for its lavishness, was soon to fall and turn into a blood castle. The people of Assyria would die, but no one would turn to help. Although they were granted mercy and salvation by God in the past, now their arrogance had reached the ultimate level and they were faced with destruction. This Tong Doc app is amazing. When I first met Dr. Zhou, we were speaking together at a conference. 
And when I saw the Tong Bible and the way he had placed this one story together, the Bible, one story, I ordered cases of this Bible. Now to see this app, the Tong Doc app, ready for you to use in your daily Bibles reading, this is amazing because so many people tell me I don't understand the Bible. And he has placed it in an order as so that it is one story. And then day after day, takes you through the Bible in a way that God's Word will touch your heart so deeply that it changes your beliefs. It helps you to rise up and be the amazing person He created you to be. Welcome to the Tong Dog app.